morning guys so thought I'd do a little vlog today oh it's morning it's been about Obi and the pony I'm just on the way to the yard now nearly there I won't show my face it's not a good sight <laughs> um, and yeah I'll vlog and I'm on Obi yay I forgot to add that I've got my saddle today hence the Chicken legs out the side. <laughs> Hi, Ruby. Here's breakfast time. So nice. Nice breakfast. Yum yum. Right, so I know it's Saturday, but this is ridiculous. It's so busy. so many people around um anyway so we're just on our way back now hope he's been pretty good apart from shaking his head like a weirdo a minute ago and trying to canter off with me um because i knew he just walked out the road and back um but yeah what i was going to talk about was his mud fever instead of having to write a huge long description about it um so oh god been, about two weeks ago well a week and a half ago i brought Obi in from the field Obi. <gasps> And um, basically all his legs were like humongous. So um, I didn't do anything, just put him in the stable for the night. And then the next morning, it was literally like all hell had broke loose from where he'd had mud fever before. Like they were absolutely horrendous. Um, I'll insert a picture here. Um, so yeah, so that wasn't very good. Um, so then I called the vet and on the Friday the um vet one second, let me just pack these people. Good boy. Okay, so called the vet um and then on that Friday she gave me antibiotics and uh down the lawn for Obi to get started on for her to then come back at the on the Monday. Oh, there's a police cycle going now. Start again. Um, so yeah, she gave them to give him over the weekend so that when she came on the Monday that we could sort it out because basically he wouldn't let me anywhere near him to do anything with his legs. I had all the lotions and potions that everyone had ever suggested, but I just couldn't get near him to do it. He was just trying to kick out, like literally going ballistic. Um, Um, anyway, so uh, yeah, so basically he had that over the weekend and the vet came last Monday and um, she sedated him and then we basically, he be scrubbed the scabs off with like a clinical razor, like literally all his legs were covered in them, it was just horrendous. Um, and then yeah, and then so I'll put in the pictures after she'd just been. Ooh. Okay, um, and then basically um, he was told that he has to stay in, um, like forever pretty much, right? so the ground's like really good again, so next year, um, and uh, basically just to like keep them clean if they, well, don't let them get any sand or muck or anything in them, and then put on um, the steroid cream once a cream, <laughs> cream once a day. Um, so yeah, so I've just been doing that all week to be honest, and he's just stayed in, been on daily walks morning and night um, but he actually one second he actually quite likes staying in um, so it doesn't really make a difference to him um, the only thing was he's lost a bit of weight can't really tell no um, <laughs> yeah he's lost a bit of weight because he stopped eating the hay and obviously he wasn't getting grass so he's now on some hay and more feed so hopefully he should put that back on um, and the legs are starting to heal up nicely um, so the first time I rode him in like two weeks but all we've done is just walk up the road just to get like the blood flow into it again and stuff and to help it heal so yes that's all I'm probably I'm going to be doing for probably three weeks or so until they're all completely healed over because obviously it's too risky to get any sand in from the school or um, so yeah so he's definitely much better now hey Obi hey 
face got so fluffy though already. Um, and even though it's not even that cold, he's had so many rugs on to try and combat the weight issue. And it obviously doesn't make a difference. He just likes being warm. Um, so yeah, so that's about it really. Oh, and the sun